Hello everyone, hello dear friends. I welcome to Apex Free today. In this lesson, we want to quickly share a particular strategy that is good for scalping, only for scalping. And this, I bet you, it is very, very useful. A very good strategy, which I've tried and see, it fetches a lot of money. Precisely, if you have an account and you go and you can go for standard lot size, it is very, very interesting. So, the strategy goes that you need to uh, observe the criteria, make sure the criteria for scalping is met before you go for it. What I'm trying to say is, if you are going for crash, 1,000 or 500, make sure that the crash is on its normal default trend, which is to buy. If crash is on uptrend, you are going to enjoy this strategy as you are scalping. Even if you have uh, crashes or you have spikes, it will still continue the trend because it is on its normal default trend, which is to buy. And if you are going for boom, make sure that boom is on its normal default trend, which is to sell. So if boom is on its default trend, which is downtrend, even if it spikes, it will still continue and you enjoy your scalping. But if both of the pairs, if they are against the trend, that is, if boom is on uptrend and you are going for scalping, it will go against you because that particular time is going to be spiking. I hope this is clear. So what you need to do is follow the instructions strictly so as to enjoy the strategy. I've been using it and it fetches a lot of money. So that is that. Let's look at how it is used. As you can see, this is boom 500. What you need to do is from the oscillators and the indicators that are used for this particular strategy, we have Ichimoku there, we have MACD there, Stochastic as well. And this is what you need to do. This is boom now. Make sure the trend goes to the peak, that is to the level 90 of this Stochastic. Once it reaches there and you observe that it is down trend, don't forget, then you are going to enjoy the scalping. Let's, let me give you instances now. Let me give you instances of it. Okay. You can see this golden line on my screen. That is what I said to know whether the trend is uptrend or downtrend. Once the trend is below this golden line, it means it is on downtrend. And if the trend is above it, it means it is uptrend. So from this now, you can see it is below my golden line which means it is easy and possible to scalp here. Just look at this point now. You see that that spike gets to level 90 of the stochastic in this window one. We are only using window one here. So from that, the circled area, as you can see, touches level 90 of the stochastic, which means I can enter here to scalp. To scalp. So from here, look at it way down. Even we have spikes here, but that still doesn't affect it. You can see, even with this big one, it still continues. Then, how would you know when to stop? That is when it touches, as you can see, big spike here. Once it touches or almost touching level 10, as you can see here, you can see the MACD, the Ichimoku, everything converge together almost touching the level of 10. Make it almost. You don't allow it to touch before you quit with profit. So once this happens, you quit it and take your profit. Make sure you try this on demo before you go to live. Let me look for another opportunity as well. Remember I said downtrend. Here again, we have below the golden line. Look at it here and up there. So let's look at it. You can see 
even despite this, still continues to the downtrend. You can see, before we now have this spike up. Before that spike up, don't forget I said, when it touches, as you can see, then you take your profit and leave the trade. That is that. Let me go for another pair. So this that I use for BOOM 500 is also applicable to BOOM 1000. Same thing. Let me go for another pair, which is crash 1000 now. The default trend for this is up to buy. That is to buy is the default. So if it is below the trend, as you can see here, look at my golden line here. You see it is below. You don't go for scalping here, except you want to go for uh, crashes. You want to catch crashes. That is what you can do here, because it is below the trend, the moving average. So the opportunity we look for is when, look at this place now, see my golden line, and the trend is above here. So which means it is very, very suitable for scalping. Just look at it now. So from this place, you enter here, you can see, you enter from the big crash and see what you have here. Look at it. It goes up, you can see. With the small uh, crash, it still continue uptrend, you can see. You can see, before we now have the bigger one. Mind you, I said, once it touches level, look at here. Once it touches level 90, you quit it and take your profit. Every of the indicator and the oscillator converge there. Once you notice that, quit it and take your profit. Let's look for another opportunity there. The same thing I'm using for this crash 1000 is also applicable for 500 as well. Look at another opportunity here. This is very, very good for scalping. You can see that point circuit. Yes, once it touches level 10, you go in for a buy. Mind you, look at my golden line. It is what? Trying to break that particular below, but it continues uptrend, which means it is still buying. So look at from the point circled, you can see, even despite this, you can see, despite this crash, it still continues up here. But the moment you observe the convergence of these indicators, it still continues. But here, you can see the lines converge there. You can see. Once you notice that, you take your profit. That is how this works, actually. When you do this, you make more money. More money. Yes, this is another uptrend. You can see my golden line now. It's above my golden line. Look at money. So another opportunity here. You can see. So once you enter for a buy here, you have this, but yet it continues uptrend. You can see. Now above the golden line. It goes up, see spikes of crashes, still on. You can see. So until here, it touches this 90, then you quit it and take profit. Imagine how much money you will have made with that. If it is one standard loss size. So this is how far about the... Now let me show you the indicators to be used. On window 1. So let's assume, I want to believe you know how to do this. This is my moving average, the first one here. That is the golden color that shows uptrend and downtrend. So if you're interested, this is what you do. You can screenshot this and save it for later configuration. That is that. Okay. Now we are using this window, window one. That is what we are using. So the first one is stochastic. Here is the setting. 533. No eyes, simple, two, two. If your background is white, use white color here. If it is black, change it to black color. So, this as well. The levels. The levels as well. These are the levels. You can see that. 
take screenshots of it and save it. Then the next one is Ichimoku. Locate it from the indicators. This is the Ichimoku. Take the setting down. I want to believe you know how to do that. And you click on done. Then the next one is the moving average on window one. This is the moving average. Take it down, screenshot it. Then the last one, which is Mark D. There is the setting. That is the setting of the Mark D. And you click on down. So those are the windows. I mean, those are the stochastic Ichimoku moving average Mark D needed for the comparison. Once it is done, you have something like this window that is what you are using once you have it enjoy your trading but most importantly don't forget go for scalping and make more money when crash 1500 are on the default trend that is to buy when they are uptrend you enjoy it even if it crashes it continues uptrend so also boom 500 or 1000 make sure they are on the default trend which is to sell when they are down trend down trend below the moving average of 200 or 105 you enjoy your scalping because they are on the normal trend even if you have spikes big or small you still continue the trend and you spike i mean you scalp to get more money but if they are against the trend i won't deceive you you will not make more money but the crash to consume your money so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more to come more videos to come and enjoy your trading life thank you